Listen to me, it is time to get your butt back in church. By the Lord of sea and sky. This probably isn't going to be a very popular idea, but hear me out because I think sometimes we need to hear an unpopular reality. So I share this as a brother in Christ with brotherly love. If you have been away from the church, it's time to come home. People are lined up to get into retail stores. And if you can go to Walmart and you can go get fast food, you can go to church. People have been complaining that they want things to open up and they're willing to wait in lines for hours to get into retail stores. There should be lines to get into church. Where I live, I know of churches that aren't even meeting their minimal capacity of 15%. There should be line ups to get into the doors of churches. If this year has taught us anything, it's that we need Jesus. We need God, we need community, and we need a thriving faith life all the more, now more than ever. And so all of these people that complained, like, oh, when are things going to open up? Where are you? This perhaps has been very revealing. It's revealing of people's true faith life, the depth of it, how much they are willing to endure and to sacrifice for their love of God. And there's people that are probably watching this video that are getting extremely defensive, thinking of every possible extreme reason and excuse not to go to church. And there are some valid reasons, but very few. If we can go get groceries from the grocery store, we can go to church. So perhaps over this last year, we've allowed some bad habits to creep into our spiritual lives. Maybe we've gotten really comfortable not going to church. Perhaps we've allowed our faith life to be a little bit lax. And maybe this needs to be our wake up call. So I say this with great love. It's time to get our butts back in church. We need God. We need community. The sacraments were given to the church to feed us spiritually and to give us life. If you've been away from the church, I wanna invite you to come home. And I wanna leave you with this reflection from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 25 and 26, where it says this, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as it has become the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching near. For if we sin deliberately after having received the knowledge of truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for our sins. I love you. The church loves you. Jesus loves you. And it's time to get your butt back to church.